What is up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to PC Building Simulator, which is a uh, awesome game. And I just built this puppy here. She isn't she gorgeous? Look at that, seven thousand nine hundred dollars almost. That's crazy. It's got a i9 Extreme Edition, RGB. Gotta have RGB. So much RAM I can't even count. Lots of fans. And uh, the most important bit, two, <laughs> not one, two, Aorus RGB 2080 Ti graphics cards. This computer is a beast. And I really freaking want it. Yeah, I kind of just went, eh, let's build the best PC I can without water cooling because I couldn't be bothered. So yeah, i9-9980XE, Asus Prime Deluxe Motherboard X299. And uh, <laughs> how much RAM is that? That's 8 sticks, 8 times, it's a 64 gig of uh, 3200 megahertz RGB RAM. It is a crazy computer. Anything else special in here? I know it's got a thousand watts power supply. My scroll, oh my god, it's taking forever. And uh, you can see here the score of um, 18,915. It is crazy. Oh, and it's got 16 terabytes of storage, half of which is on SSD. It is a crazy computer. Um, just to uh, prove it, so let's run the benchmark. This should take probably about 30 seconds to a minute. <laughs> Look at the frames. 125, look how fast they're counting up. Like, seriously, this is crazy, this computer. Honestly, I wish I could have this computer. I really want this computer. Bear in mind, this is not a game. This is a benchmark. This is designed to stress a computer to its max. And it's still 125 frames a second. So, uh, yeah, we got a score 18,915. Um, and we can actually compare that to the world, the actual world, real computers, um, with this. So, they are at the top, Kingpin, we're second in the world. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, Kingpin is like the best overclocker in the world. This computer has no overclocks, it just is amazing. But anyway, that is not what we're here for today, so I'm actually going to uh, pick this up. Oh my god. Uh, where can I put it? Yeah, screw it, that'll do. We're going to build my computer today, so I need to find a suitable case. I've got a lot of cases lying around, so let's try and find one that's suitable. That's the problem, my case is actually pretty small. It's got a glass side. Um, it's by Colink, which is not in this game. And the hard bit is, I got a glass front as well. I've got RGB fans in the front of my case. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to find one which has both, but it's actually really difficult. Let's, let's, let's take a look at it. What does this look like? Mine's black. No, that's not really it. That's Cooler Master, good, good case, but that's not it. I need to find a case that is more like mine. There's a lot of cases mine, just just to pull that out there. Look at that, that's an entirely glass case. It's crazy, but none of them are like mine. That, ooh, that actually is. Let's, let's have a look at this. This looks like my case. Glass front, yeah, it's got the same UI. You know what? I'm going to take it. This is my case. Awesome. Wicked. I'm happy with that. So we need to remove the side panel. Obviously lots of screws, as in real life. Um, this game, I, I mean, I like to think of myself as quite good at computers, but not an expert. This game does things differently to me, though. For example, I tend to put the power supply in first, but usually this game doesn't allow that. I've got, let me actually have a look at mine. Mine is a Corsair, what's that, VS650. Can we find a Corsair VS650? Um, yes we can. Well, TX, 
you're not close enough. And it will let me fit it. Oh, nice. Mine is at the top. That's one difference. Mine's at the top of my case. This is at the bottom. Right, um, motherboard-wise, I have got a MSI uh, Z370, I believe it is. Uh, motherboards... Let's narrow this down, actually. MSI Z270. Um, is that? Which one is it? Oh, God, that's actually very hard. I don't know. Um... They've both got the same specs, pretty much. I'm going to assume... Mine actually is... Di mine's different to this. I don't have any of the RGB stuff. Yeah, a lot of standoffs, but... You know, it, it, it's to space the motherboard, otherwise it would fry itself, so... Pretty reasonable. If my processor doesn't fit this motherboard, we know we have the wrong one. But yeah, mine is completely different. I don't have that heatsink there, I don't have that. Uh, RAM, everything else looks okay, I just don't have those heat sinks. I don't know, perhaps it's a different model. Right, awesome. I've got an i7 7700K. Um, I haven't decided yet if I am going to mess with overclocks or anything. Kind of thinking probably not. Okay. Where is it? I know for a fact it's in this game. There it is. 7700, I got the K. There is a difference. There, so it's not compatible. LGA eleven fifty one. Why is that not compatible? Um. Okay. I'm a little bit confused right now. Hang on, I fixed this. I know what the problem is. Okay, we may have to remove this motherboard. Well, that sucks. I think it's the chipset. Mine must be the 270, or is that the one I got? Mine's the other one, I think. Yeah, let's let's take the motherboard out. Uh, do I have to take the screws out, really? Hey, there it is. Yep, it was the wrong chipset, that's what it is. I need to open there. Pop my CPU in, and close that, as you do. That is awesome, so there is my CPU. Now, I do need to remember to put thermal paste on. I didn't do that last time on the uh, the build I showed you at the beginning. That's my tip. Make sure you do that. It's kind of important. Um, in fact, let's do CPU cooling now. So, as I said, thermal paste on. Just a nice little bit of blob there. And we need a cooler. Mine is a Cooler Master Arctic Freezer 7, I think it is. Might be a 12. Um, Freezer 7, do you have it? I think it's a Freezer 7. Do you know what, I'm just going to go for a 12. That looks good enough, that'll do. Um, that is a lot bigger than, no, actually, no, that's about the right size. Um, yeah, mine, that's how mine is. Awesome, so we've got the cooler. This is actually turning out to be quite easy. Um, I do want to get an M.2 drive. We'll see them in a minute. They're like the fastest drive. I I, it does support it, but I don't have one. Um, next, we're going to install the RAM. I've got... Actually, my RAM I'm, bit, I'm a little bit ashamed of, I'll be honest. Do you have HyperX? No, you do not. Okay, so I know my specs. I've got... Right, that's my RAM sorted. As I said, this is turning out to be quite easy. I'm going to do a graphics card last. Um, storage, I've got... This is where it gets a bit complicated. I've got a 250 gig SSD. So that's an M.2 drive there. These are. They are, like, redonkulously fast. <laughs> no other way to say it. I've got... What brand is my SSD? It is... I'm not actually sure. No, I think mine's Kingston, but it kind of looks like that one. So I'm going to select that one, 240 gig. Um, mine is... Will it let me put it in there? I doubt it very much. Uh, why is it not letting me install? I know why. I've got to take the back panel off. I'm getting good at this. Jeez. I probably should have done that first. 
Take the screw out right now. Can I put the SSD in, please? Right, there it goes. Pop it by there. Perfect. That is pretty much it. Right, now, power-wise... Um, no, not power-wise. Storage-wise, I've got two 2 terabyte hard drives and a 500 gig hard drive. I'm going to pop the 500 gig at the bottom, just because why not? Perfect. And I'm going to pop a 2 terabyte hard drive above it. Why can I not? Ah, open drive bay. Pop that there. Close. Close. And I've got another 2 terabyte hard drive. Can't fit. Okay. It's a bit of a bummer. So I'm going to remove this hard drive. And I'm going to put, pop a 4 gig in because that's what mine has. It's just in two separate drives. Right, this is turning out to be quite easy. I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I'm doing quite well. I'm going to remove the front panel just because it will make it easier in a bit. Right, what else am I missing? Power supplies I've done, case fans. Right, so... I don't actually... I didn't put the case fans in. My computer's kind of got a groovy glass design on the front with... It's that kind of fan, but as for the make, I can't actually tell you. So I'm just going to pop that in there. I've got two, but apparently this case supports three. This case is a lot bigger than mine. I can just tell that by looking at it. Um, I want to SLI my graphics card, but unfortunately, I don't have enough room in my case. So yeah, we're going to stick three fans on the front. Obviously, all of them RGB. I'm going to try and get as close as I can, but it doesn't have every part ever made, so I am going to have to use my creative license a little bit. This is going to look wicked. So what I'm thinking is build my computer how it is in real life, and then see if I can improve it. Right, so I feel like I'm missing something, but that could be because this computer is so much bigger than my real life one that all this space just looks empty. I feel that might be true. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's go to the graphics card. Mine is a Zotac because I'll be honest, it was the cheapest when I bought it. I kind of wish I went for a Fender's Edition. A lot of people diss them, but I think they look quite cool. Should really choose that one. That one looks more similar. That one looks the closest, but I'm going to go for the reference one. So I'm going to stick Oh, God damn it, I need to remove that. Probably should have done that anyway. Right, third time's a charm, eh? Reference 1080Ti. Pop that bad boy in there. Oh, yeah. So that is, if I'm honest, that's pretty much my bolt. Bold? That's my bold. Um, so we just need to wire it up. Wiring's not as hard as people think it is. I know a lot of people are like, I don't like wiring my computer. You kind of have to deal with it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not that hard, honestly. Because it doesn't matter where a lot of the wires, where you plug them in, as long as the cable actually fits. Oh. Connect the SS. Why won't let me do it, please? There it is. Go connect that to there, I think. Just connect all the fans up. Yeah, you just gotta find the right slots. It's not that hard wiring a computer. If you've built, if you want to build a computer, but you're like, oh, I don't know if I can, just just go for it, man. Just don't try overclocking. <laughs> that that would be my main advice, because that it's a world of shit. You really don't wanna put it this way. I gave my 1080 Ti to my brother, and he thought, ooh, this is cool. It just came out. Spent seven hundred pound. He went. Let's see how far we can push it. And you almost broke it. So yeah, don't try overclocking. Right, cable-wise, we're almost all in. Yeah, this, I feel this is pretty similar. Watch it not turn on now, but, you know. <laughs> oh, we need to put the front on and the back and sides, obviously. So we need to install the PC parts. So side panel. Almost forgot about this bad boy back here. That could have been bad. I've actually done that before, it's not good. Uh, your graphics card will just sag and might not work. Right, four screws, that's all we need to do, and then we can power this baby on. It does, yeah, it 
looks pretty similar, I gotta be fair. I mean, mine's got a pattern on the front, but as I said, you can't really choose in uh, things like this. Right, let's pop it on. Uh, no, I, I, mm, I almost fell off that. I want to look at this, and RGB, baby. It didn't turn on. <laughs> what am I missing? Something's missing. Missing cables. What do you mean, missing cables? Um, okay, I'm kind of... This is a problem, guys. Something is not turning on. Right, what's the missing cable? Oh! Connect the front panel. Obviously, because the front panel needs power for some reason. Don't know what the front panel does. I, I mean, I just assumed it was a piece of plastic, but apparently it's not. Right, now, anticlimactic startup over. Let's try this again. Oh, I like it. We need to change the colour of those fans, though. My next upgrade, I'm thinking an AIO cooler. No OS found. Of course there's not, because I didn't pull one on, because I'm really stupid. So we need the USB drive for that. Stick that bad boy in... Da -da -da -da. Yes. 7.53 p.m. Is that the actual time? That is the actual time. That's awesome. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking run this, see how I do, and then see what we can improve on it. Uh, wallpaper. I'm going to change the wallpaper because why wouldn't I? Select wallpaper. Come on. It's not that hard to install. But yeah, this, this is actually a really cool game, i got to be fair. I saw him play it before, it was like, on offer on Steam, it was like 10, 15 pound. What's that, like, yeah, about 15 dollars, it's not much, so I thought, you know what, why not? Right, we definitely need lighting. Nope, don't want to restart now, don't click that every time possible, so just install it all and then click it at the end, it's just easier. Um, the only other thing I really want is 3D Mark. So now I'm going to click yes to restart my computer. This is going to be wicked, guys. I cannot wait. Yes, I want to restart. That is really loud. Also, I got dual monitor. Just showing off, putting it out there. I'm a, I'm a baller. I've got two 43-inch monitors. Because I massively overdid that. <laughs> Don't Honestly, I'd recommend a 27 or a 30 at most. Um, right, lighting. We need to f all the lighting. Uh, select all lights. Uh, light effect. Let's go. What's mine on? I think mine's on rainbow. That's a bit fast. Uh, speed. <laughs> Epileptics look away now. Yeah, that's way too fast. Let's try it how it was. Still way too fast. What's time offset? I don't know. Um, I'm just playing with stuff now. Yes, that looks right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is pretty much what my computer's like. I'm actually really happy with that. That is awesome. Right, um, so we've done that. Select wallpaper. Obviously you need a badass wallpaper. Mine is currently set. Mine's actually black. That's kind of embarrassing. I like the earth. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Bit low def though. You know what, screw it. Time for the thing we've all been waiting for. The benchmark. Not quite as good as the 1080, the 2080 Ti's. <laughs> but as I said, this part is stressing the processor. That's why it's uh, not the best. But still, an i7 7700K. Without overclock this, mind. Mine in real life has, but as I said, I'm not going to get into all that today. That's not too bad. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen computers that kind of explode when you run this, so... Not bad, 60 frames a second. Again, decent. I'm gonna guess... 
what would my guess be? I'm going to guess 10,500 score. Yeah, 10,500. That is my guess for this. After all, 1080 Ti, good i7. I think the RAM lets this... I think, yeah, out of everything, the RAM lets my computer down. And the cooling. I need to work on the cooling. Well, I aimed high and missed. 7,500. I mean, it's good, but not the best. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Right, we're going to improve that score now. So I need to pair off my computer. I love how fast it turns off. That's so not legit. That's like, hey, let's pull the power cable out fast. Don't, don't ever do that. Right. So, as I said, then my next upgrade that I want to do is an AIO cooler. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, we have plenty of space left over, though. Um, I want to take the back off as well, just for ease of access. Right, we've got three massive fans on the front. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to remove this cable. Come on, let, let me... There it goes. Right, take the front panel off. That's pretty easy. Um... So yeah, AIO cooler, SLI, M.2, and better RAM. That's what I'm thinking right now. Maybe a better power supply. So basically, rebuild it. Yeah, let's rebuild this computer. So I'm going to unplug some cables. All right, oh. so I can remove that now. I'm basically going to gut it everything other than the motherboard, because I don't want to replace that, because that's basically making it a new computer then. So, graphics card can go for now. I want to keep the same graphics card as well. As I said, I don't want to completely rebuild it. I just want to make it better. Right, that can go. So, we need to unplug that cable. That's good. So, there's my processor. Right, RAM. Hard drives, I, I'm fine with that, to be honest. That's good enough. So, right, first thing I want to do is... Um, an AIO cooler, so CPU, no, I need thermal paste first, and then I need a cooler, so an AIO, what the frickin' hair, that's a passive cooler, yeah, don't, no, <laughs> just, just no, that's not, you don't want that, that's pretty cool, but I want RGB, it's gotta be RGB, guys, that's quite cool, what's the difference, airflow, yeah, three fans, why did I not spot that? Yeah, I quite like that. And tech, can I, where can I pop it in? There. So, why? Uh, I'm going to have to remove a lot of stuff. Okay. And there goes the final fan. Can I put this in now? Um, oh, I've lost it. Of course I have. Uh, it was, which one did I want? That one. The Mercury. What the hell? Okay. Um... Apparently that's not an option with these drive bays here. Can I move them? I'm not sure that's a good idea, guys. Okay, what I'm going to do then... Improvise, adapt, overcome. I'm going to put the two fan version in, up here. Perfect. So that's RGB as hell anyway. And then I'm just going to have to leave the bottom one with either a normal fan or an RGB fan. Let's see how it looks with RGB. So that's an AIO cooler. So basically water cooled to the fans, but you don't have to have a pump or anything. It's pretty, it's simple. Simple, but it works like water cooling, so it's good enough. Right, where was that fan that I had earlier? No, I'm not going to CPU coolers, that's why. Uh, case fans, that one. Pop that in there. I got a feeling this is going to look stupid, guys. I mean, it could look okay. Mm, do I just put a normal fan in there? This cooler's way too thick. Can I move the fans off the cooler? No. Damn. I'm actually a bit upset at that now. Can I not put the cooler on the roof? The answer, no. No, I cannot. I'm going to have to then. Uh, guys, I really don't like this. What if I just put a single fan cooler in there? Can I put that on the top? I can. Ooh. 
Oh, this opens possibilities. Remove that. Right, I'm starting to like where this is going now. So I can't put a two on the top, can I? Yes, I can. Oh, I will take that then. That. Thank God. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to put the last fan in here now. So the front's not affected, but we got an AIO. That I really like. Awesome. Right, graphics card I said I wanted to do last. I always do always do graphics card last, guys. Um, storage, I want an M.2. I'm sure I can fit one in. Uh, Corsair, is that the biggest one? It is indeed. So pop that there. Awesome, 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 awesome. I'm really happy with this so far. Um, I don't think there's anything I can put in the SATA slot, really. The mini SATA, so that one. SATA 1X, I think it's called. No, not unless they do SEN cards or... It's just not worth it. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with this so far. I want some more... Do I want some more SSDs? I can't... Yeah, I do totally want some more SSDs. So, let's go, what's the biggest SSD we can get? Let's go with the same style, so that one. Yep, awesome. Can I put another one in? Can I, can I, can I? Ah, sugar. That's not nice. It just feels big. I, I want to put something there. Yes, okay, I get it. Go away. Um, just, it doesn't feel complete to me yet. Don't know why. I know the power supply and the graphics are missing, but I want to put something there. What's that? I don't know. Um, right, power supply. I'm going to give in. We're going to do power supply. Um, I want something good. I want a thousand watt. Just because, you know what? Why not? Why have a crap car when you can have a Ferrari or a Lamborghini? That's my thinking here. Let's give me a te give me a thousand watt. That's a t that's a one thousand fifty watt. Um, is there a way to sort them by watt? I don't think there is. Hmm, that's not very good. Okay, let's just go for a good company then. A company I've heard of. Gigabyte, meh. EVGA, super. Not yeah, let's screw it. Nice big. 1000 watt power supply. I'm pretty sure this is designed for a server, not a computer. Right, graphics card time, guys. So, as I said, I want to keep the same graphics card. So, what? I can't remember what it was. Let's just type in 1080. Nice. So, I was going for that one, wasn't I? Pop that in there. Bang in. And I can put one underneath. I'm going to have to remove that. And that. You know what? I'm just going to remove all three of them. Because I don't know which slot it's going to go in yet. In fact, screw it. Let's go all the way. We can always put them back in later. And I want the same one again. See, people who get different cards are just like... Get out. <laughs> you can't do that. That's the same one. With the SLI bridge automatically installed, I like that. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Just, just gorgeous, guys. Ah, oh, RAM. <laughs> oh, no. I knew there was something I was missing. God, no, that's not fair. We're going to remove this stick of RAM. We want something better, don't we? I'm thinking a nice set of DOM plats. So I need to pop all these open, pretty easy, considering there's only four slots. Some have like eight, so that's good. Memory, let's go for, where's Dom Platts? You need some, there they are. Are they all white? Really? I can't get RGB ones. Mm -mm. Gotta be some RGB somewhere. That's RGB, Corsair, Cor 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 Corsair Vengeance. White or black? Black, gotta be black, right? 4,700 megahertz, you kidding me? I want something bigger though. There's, there's Dom Platts. Oh, that's good. No, they're white though. Why? Give me some RGB ones. Ah, G-Skill Trident Zs. They're good. Uh, 16 gig, 4,000 megahertz. 4,500 megahertz. 
They don't light up though. Do none of them light up? Mmm. Not happy now. They light up. See, we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. You just need a bit of patience. Right. Pop one in there. And 32 gigs of RGB RAM. That's perfect. As I said, I'm not going to upgrade the storage. Um, I think... I think that's everything, guys. Cables. That's all that's left to do. I'm going to do some cables. So one difference I have just noticed is that this is a modular power supply. What that means... Um, no, I don't want to do that. What that means is instead of cables coming out of the power supply, you get your own cables so you can mix and match what cables and connections you have. Very useful. I would advise getting that kind of power supply if you need to. Like if you're looking for a new power supply. That would be my top tip. Right, it's just graphics card power now, isn't it? Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am loving this. This is coming along beautifully. I don't think there's anything left to do, really. Right, let's pop it in the end one. Just so the OCD in me. What is that? Why is that not... Do I not have a power cube? Are oh, you kidding me, right? And let's see if there's, that's the issue. I think it might be. No. Okay. Right, so I figured out the problem. If I click here and connect that, there is only one connection for it on the power supply. So I can't connect the other one. And <laughs> if I'm honest, I don't know what will happen if... I don't think it'll even let me turn it on. Doubt. No, I'm missing cables. Ah, uh, this is an issue, guys. Um, I actually don't know how to remedy this. Hmm. And I don't know what other thing uses that power supply. Because my power supply in real life is not modular, so I'm not that familiar with them. Um. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unplug stuff that's not necessarily important. And see if that gets me anywhere. It probably won't get me anywhere, but it's worth a shot, eh? Okay. Not a huge issue. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually open this. We're going to remove this hard drive. I mean, does it suck? Hell yeah, it sucks, but sometimes you just need to do it, right? Um. So, yeah, we're going to have to skimp on one of the hard drives, and I don't think there's anything I can put in there, but my OCD is killing me, so I'm going to move this to the bottom tray. And since I'm here, I might as well upgrade it, so I want a 10 terabyte. No, nope, can't get a 10. 4 terabyte, that'll do. Close that. I'm actually upset about that. I'm surprised that it doesn't have enough connectors. But I am asking a lot of it, so yeah, it's kind of not really a surprise. I don't need to install anything. Right, is everything connected other than these? I think it is, yeah. So that's the SATA cable. Pop that in there beyond the graphics card. Um, yeah. I'm happy with that. So we need to put the parts of the case back together. So let's start with, uh, yeah, let's start with these actually. Is there any we can put in? Yeah, bottom one. Another important bit of information, if you have two graphics cards, you probably already know this, always plug into the top one, if you can actually click it, god damn it, come on. Yeah, plug into the top one, because it works on a priority from the top down, so this graphics card will handle most of the work, and this is just kind of like an overflow. That's the easiest, most dumbed down way I can explain it. Deep cool. That looks pretty nice, I'm going to be honest. Let's power this baby up, guys. Oh, my God, look at those colours. Oh, it's very loud, though. I can hear the fans in it. But then, you know what? I just don't care. I need to reinstall everything. So, I had that. No, I had lighting, because that is crucially important. And I want to select my wallpaper. I think that's it. Okay. Let's restart. That's very loud. I should have turned that down. Sorry if I just totally deafened and killed you guys' ears, but, you know, whatever. 
<laughs> Not my problem. Sorry, shouldn't act like that. Um, what background am I going to use now? That is pretty cool. I like that. Pretty sure these are just Windows backgrounds because some of them look very familiar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are. Right, we want lighting. Gotta have lighting, right? Select all. Um, let's go for breathe. Let's try that. See how that goes. Apparently not very well. Hmm. <laughs> bit slow for my liking. Is it going to use all the colours as well? No, I think it's just going to use red. Okay, let's not use breathe. Let's use rainbow. Screw it. That's <laughs> so fast. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Minimum speed. Perfect. Let's take a look at that. Oh, man. I mean, I could have done some with some RGB fans rather than blue at the top, but that's that's pretty nice, pretty nice. I am really happy with that, guys. Right, let's see what my uh, upgraded computer can do. Not very much. <laughs> A problem has been detected. An Amiga system has been shut down to prevent damage to your computer. Clock watchdog timeout. Uh, hardware. What on earth could this be? Did I put thermal paste on the AIO? Let's let's have a uh, let, let's try that, shall we? So let's turn it on. Boost into the BIOS or not? I think it could be temperature, so let's add a program. I never thought I'd be diagnosing a virtual system today. System info. I think it could be the speed. The speed, the heat of the processor. So, let's look what that's got up to. I wish that thing would shut the hell up. Yeah, I haven't put, that's way too hot. That's what it is. As soon as the test kicks in, it just says, Nope, screw you. I'm not going to do that. Too hot. 105 degrees. Shut down. So, um, yeah. I know what I did wrong. I'm going to fix that now. It's pretty easy to fix. What I need to do is take the side off and the processor and the heating. Probably a few cables. Yeah, pretty easy. <laughs> because computers always are. I bet a few of you spotted that, didn't you? That was a stupid mistake. But I'm sure this will all work out. So I've put thermal paste on now. Um, Mercury. It says RGB, but clearly it, it isn't. Is that RGB? No, that's just a normal liquid cooler. Don't want a branded one. You know, not like I'm fussy or anything. Just something with a cool design. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, let's stick that at top. All I had to do was remove eight screws, a dust filter, and a cable, so not too hard. Just for a pea-sized blob of goop. But yeah, we're just installing this now. Put the dust filter back on top. So that's under PC parts. Pop that there. Um, cable, got to cable it back up, otherwise it will not work. Nope, come on. Perfect, and put the side back on. I think that's everything, guys. Phew! Yeah, don't do not do that to your real computer. That is uh, that's not at all good. Right, now let's try turning it back on. Ooh, I like that in the middle. That is pretty cool. Oh, guys. I am so happy. Right, let's take a look to double check our temperatures. 40. Much better. Much, much, much better. Right, um... 3D Mark? No, Lighting. Gotta sort out the Lighting. Select all. Rainbow. Apply. Perfect. And, no. Need 3D Mark. Hopefully it won't just die instantly now. I can't remember what the score we got last time was. It was 7,500, I believe. Um, this should be better. Processor-wise, this is the bit that lets it down. Um, so that won't change, because we've still got the same processor. 
and motherboard, so that won't change. But graphics, we should see a humongous improvement. That's what I'm thinking, because we've doubled our graphics capacity. 1080 Ti has 11 gigabytes of virtual RAM, of visual RAM, whatever, VRAM. We now have 22. Yeah, look at that, 104. That's so much more crisp and faster. There's no spikes. There's a steady 104.8.9, something like that. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty decent, guys. I would happily take this frame rate any day. <laughs> yeah, I've got one 1080 Ti. I'm thinking of upgrading. The problem is, as I said earlier, my case is small. I would have to buy a new case for me to SLI it. It just, it wouldn't work. There's no room underneath my graphics card, which kind of is annoying. But I think my first upgrade is going to be an AIO cooler. Oh, much better. 12,448. Yep, much better. So guys, that is my, not dream PC, but what I aspire to get soon. Can I close this, please, somehow, please? Nice. No, apparently not. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, guys. That's awesome. That is so cool. 4500 well, call it $4,600 worth of equipment right there. That's wicked. I, I'm happy with that. Right, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more PC uh, building simulator. As I said, it's a good game. It's only 10 15 bucks on uh, Steam, so why not? But as I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out Matt's channel. There's a link in the description as well as my Discord. And also, big announcement. <laughs> kind of forgot about this. I'm starting up my Patreon again. I haven't really touched it in ages. But I'm going through it and modernizing it. And I'm going to try and keep up with that. So if you want to support me, you are more than welcome to. By no means is it mandatory. And uh, I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.